do you know you can download any kind of imagery from google earth engine so you can easily export it to the google drive by simply clicking on the run button over here so if you want to know how then watch this video till the end all right so you can open the google earth engine by typing code.earthengine.google.com after you uh, log in to your account so you will get this kind of interface and here the first thing is you need to like draw your uh, area of interest for me uh, i think geojson.io is the like uh, best site to create your uh, area of interest so i'm going to like sorry i'm going to draw here the polygon so this polygon will be my area of interest and if you are okay with this polygon or if you draw any kind of shape or if you have the shape file then it's fine so i'm going to save it as the shape file so i downloaded over here so for me i previously downloaded the file so i can extract this file to the downloads folder and uh here is my like uh, aoi zip file and if i load it in the qgis so it's simply the uh, polygon that i draw in uh, geojson.io site and after that the next step is to like upload that drawn zip file to the google earth engine uh, assets so in order to like load the save file so click on the select button and after that click uh, aoi files and aoi shx and sbx does not have the okay just left the sbx format uh, unselect sbs and then uh, these are the like required file and then i can say aoi test okay if i upload it then it might take some time to upload the uh, save file so you can see the progress over here all right so now it's uploaded so you can import it by clicking on this arrow button so over here this arrow and it will uh, outline with the table but you can change it to the AOI and next step is to search for the data day, database so I'm going to search for sentinel sentinel2 imagery uh, which is sentinel2 msi level 2a so if you click on here you will you can read all the description by the sentinel imagery also the number of bands right uh, the rgb band is over here 432 and if you need nir which is band 8 and of course for the swir 12 and 11 and there are lots of other bands as well and then you can read the image property as well and then term of use so basically uh what i i think will be helpful is uh, you can see the example by clicking on c example and then it will like load the example script uh, to like get the data set of Copernicus uh, Sentinel-2 and after that from the asset I can again uh, import this asset by clicking on this button and then changing the name to AOI all right now it's time to like modify this script so the first function over here which is max as to clouds so it will try to max and then remove the cloud by using bitwise operation so you don't need to like modify or change anything from this function so it's from the example code directly so if you see the data set variable over here so it's image collection from s2 which is sentinel2 data set and then it has filter date from 2000 22 1 1 to 2022 130 of course you can modify these uh, dates to change your like sentinel imagery so for me i'll just keep it as it is and then of course uh, there is another filter called e filter cloud pixel percentage which is less than 20 percent 
and then also uh, I want to add another thing like filter bound filter bounds to AOI and uh, okay and after that I also want to add another map function which is the function img and then it's like img dot clip and then it should clip based on area of interest all right so that's all and before i forgot one thing so if instead of like setting my map center manually so i can remove this part and then i can add map dot center object uh, object to my area of interest and if you hit run then uh okay function img and okay so it should return the img dot clip okay so if i run it so it will automatically focus on my area of interest which is pohara region but unfortunately i don't have any images so maybe you can like try to change this date from oh, january to march so that you will get few images so if you hit run then you will see the images with a uh, with a few few of the area covered by cloud and then you can see uh, it's the sentinel 2 rgb imagery all right so now the other thing is like i want to like do the uh, do the select the bands so my required bands will be b4 of course a red band b3 which is green and then b2 which is a blue band and then b8 which is nir band in this way you can simply select your requirement and then also uh, before like applying requirement selection so i can do the like data set dot uh, i can like uh, take the median value of the data set and then uh, and then only I can select the required bands. Okay, so now, uh, so if I, I think I need to like change this visualization variable as well. So this time data set, so if you hit run, so it will be your median value of the sentinel 2 imagery and okay so after that uh, so the final step is to like uh, export this map into the google drive in order to export the map export the sentinel 2 data set you can write export dot image dot to drive and then you can pass few of the variables in the curly bracket, which is IMAG image will be your data set. And then description will be Sentinel2 imagery. Sorry, I need comma. And then reason will be the, uh, I think AOI and then scale will be the 10 meter resolution that's why i'm writing 10 so if i hit run so it will automatically give us one tax which is sentinel 2 and then if you hit run then you will pop up with this kind of dialog box and then you can write the file name sentinel 2 ry pohara and then if you hit run so it will take few minutes i think four to five minutes to download this imagery and then it will be available in your google drive you can check it in the google drive all right so in this way you can export your map to the google drive but if you want to like uh, change this variable and completely remove this cloud then you can what you can do is instead of uh, this march you can provide december and then hit run so hopefully it will remove some clouds so let let let's uh, wait till the map loads okay so here uh, you don't we don't have like any clouds that means it automatically max the cloud and then if you hit run then you will be downloading this 
particular imagery so which is the sentinel 2 uh, band, sentinel 2 imagery with a band rgb band and then the uh, okay rgb band and then the nir band all right my sentinel 2 imagery is downloaded in google drive which is over here so if you want it so you can simply double click or download it uh, and then uh, open it in the QGIS. All right, so this is my Sentinel-2 imagery. So it's 432, that means it's the uh, true color composite and you can clearly see it's uh, it looks really good over here. So yeah so in this way you can download the sentinel 2 imagery from google earth engine and if you want to like download the uh landsat data set so i have the script and then i will provide in the video description below make sure to check it out and uh here also i want to like explain the code of the like landsat imagery so maybe i can save these changes and uh Okay, save it over here and then uh, show you the uh, Landsat one. Sorry. Okay, so this is for the Landsat. So if you are trying to download the Landsat 7, then feel free to uncomment this line and then comment out this line. So here also I have like Sentinel-8 imagery and then I filter my date based on like 2020 to 8 1 to 2022 12 30 and then cloud coverage less than 5% AOI and then clip and then again I select the bands and then visualize it in the map and then uh, after that I select the median value and then uh, select only the requirement this time I'm selecting only the RGB band I think this is from like uh, Landsat 7. So if you want Landsat 8, then make sure to change B4, B3, and then B2, which are the RGB color. And after that, simply I export my image to the drive uh, with the name as Landsat. So this is the like core concept over here. So which is, uh, which function help us to like download the any kind of imagery from google earth engine to the google drive so of course um, the landsat image has the 30 meter resolution that's why scale is 30 so if you hit run then uh, you'll see the like for for this particular script i have the area of interest over here it's the like uh, I think some of the basin in Nepal. So if you click hit uh, run, then uh, you'll see the Landsat over here. And then if you want to download, simply give it the file name and it will download your file. So yeah, so that's how you, you download the imagery, uh, either Landsat or Sentinel from Google Earth Engine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.